Refer to the most current installation instructions on installpella.com for the tools, materials, and specific steps needed to install your Pella product. Always use appropriate personal protective equipment. Begin by cleaning the opening and surrounding wall to ensure it's dry and free of any dirt, oil, or debris. Check the opening for plumb and level. Confirm that the window is a half to three quarters of an inch larger than the window in width and height. Cut one piece of nine inches or wider flashing paper and at least 18 inches longer than the width of the opening. Staple it flush with the bottom of the opening. Cut two or more pieces of 9 inches or wider flashing paper at least 18 inches longer than the height of the opening. Staple one piece flush with each side of the opening. Cut two pieces of flashing tape 12 inches longer than the opening width. Apply the first piece of flashing tape 6 inches up each side so it extends 1 inch onto the exterior of the wall over the flashing paper. Cut small tabs in each corner and fold the tape down pressing it onto the flashing paper. Make sure there are no voids at the corners. Apply the second piece of flashing tape 6 inches up each side so it overlaps the first piece of flashing tape by 1 inch. Press the tape down firmly. Place and level shims on the sill a half inch from each side as well as under any mullions. Refer to the installation instruction for additional shimming requirements. Secure the shims with roofing nails or flashing tape. Center the window in the opening on the sill shims. Make sure the nailing fin makes contact with the wall on all sides. Drive two fasteners, one near each end of the top nailing fin. Refer to the installation instruction for fastener requirements. Place shims according to the installation instructions to make the window plumb and square and to keep the sash to frame gap or reveal consistent. Check the window placement within the wall by measuring from the interior surface of the window or jam extension to the interior surface of the wall. The measurement should be consistent. Drive two more fasteners, one near each end of the sill nailing fin. Check for smooth operation. Refer to the installation instructions and make any necessary adjustments. Drive the remaining fasteners in the nailing fin. Refer to the instructions for fastener type and spacing. Cut two pieces of flashing tape four inches taller than the sides of the window. Apply each piece a half inch onto the window frame, over the nailing fin, and onto the flashing paper so it extends two inches above and below the window. Press it down firmly. Cut one piece of flashing tape long enough to extend one inch past both side flashing tapes. Apply it at the top, a half inch onto the window frame, over the nailing fin, and onto the wall so it extends one inch past each side flashing tape. Press it down firmly. Cut one piece of nine inches or wider flashing paper at least 21 inches longer than the width of the opening. Center it above the window, flush with the top, and staple it in place. When the building paper or wrap is installed, the sill flashing paper must overlap the building paper. Also, the building paper at the head must overlap the flashing paper. This will create a watershed effect. Use a low pressure polyurethane window and door insulating foam sealant to create an interior seal. Read the directions on the can before use. Insert the nozzle or straw one inch into the space between the window and wall. Place a one inch deep bead of foam to allow for expansion.
When applying siding, brick, trim, or other finished materials, leave adequate space between the window frame and the siding for sealant. After the application of siding, brick, and or trim, insert backer rod in the space between the window and the siding or trim. Apply a continuous bead of Pella window and door installation sealant over the backer rod. Shape, tool, and clean any excess sealant.